April 2017, day one of Jubilee Party primaries. And trust me, we have been on the ground from as early as 4 a.m. We'll let you know what has been happening today. There's been lots of activity, lots of complaints, lots of frustrations as well. As usual, this is a new center. We have two hours, actually three today. We'll, we'll give you some bonus, three hours, to look at what's happening in the Jubilee Party primaries. So we have a whole team on the ground for us. So listen, we have Chris Tairu in Kiambu. We have Jeff Kirui, who's keeping an eye on what's happening for us in Kericho. We have Sophia Wanuna in Muranga. We also have Mashirima Kapombe in Nyeri. And, of course, Elvis Kosge in Eldoret. And our Victor Gale is keeping an eye on what's happening for us in Baringo. Agnes Penda is uh, keeping an eye on what's happening in Narok. So, in a nutshell, we are all over um, the counties where the primaries are currently taking place. We'll be speaking to all these reporters in the next uh, few minutes. Actually, over this uh, three-hour period, this is News Center. Thank you so much for joining us. There on your screen, we have Jeff Kirui, who's keeping an eye on what's happening for us in Kericho. Jeff, good to see you. And in Eldoret, uh, Jackson Mandagro, the governor there, is addressing um, some of his supporters there. I believe we can start with Mandagro just listening to what he's saying for a bit. Lugha <laughs> Wawache kutoa matusi ambaye na leke uchochizi. Tunataka kusema ya kwamba. Omudiano, omudiano. Hai, hai, hai. Tunataka kusema ya kwamba. Kera, nagita jiro. Kwa kene hiyo kura kwa amani. Atotaki furugu ya uyoza. Ili uweze kumalisa nomination yetu ikiwa sawa. Na mime nataka kukumbusha Rafael Tuju. Ambaye ni mwenye kiti ya chama. Yeye ameahidi mara mingi kwenye runinga, kwenye media ya kuwa watafanya uchaguzi wa huru na haki, ya kuwa wamelete ballot papers ya kutosha. Sasa yeye atueleze. Kama ni kutoa ballot papers ya kutosha. Hiyo ballot papers kutoka Nairobi na hapa Eldoret ilipotelea wapi hapa katikati? Na ni nani? Sina kweli? Eh. Last hiyo Last confidence. That the materials are enough. I think it is time you crack the whip. Na tuju asifanya tuanze kumushuku. Kama kuhili ya lukuda jubini, ama anatamia ya kuhili. Nafwa, hako nafwa. Watu wa ufisi wa kwende nyumbani. Unajua zaza hapa italete utata kidogo. Kukusu kuridia kila siku hii uchagusi takuwa uhuru wa haki, materio zinatosha, imeprindiwa sijui wapi ini, sijui niti, alafu balo pepa saitoshi. Kiyo unataka kutuletea mtafaruku ambaya atu kwa nae. Ukiona vile kampini liendesha katika kaunti hii. Watu wa nifanya uchagusi kwa amani? Yes. Asperance wa likuwa nakutana, Kile mtu wanaomba gura, wanaenda the next station, wanaomba gura. Mtu sasa halikuwa mefika mahali tu ya kuomba mungu wakia na raya wa mpitishi. Sasa wanataa kwaribu mpango ya mungu kwa nini. Kwa hivyo mimi sasa kusema kusidi hapo, tumesema mtawaguzi rasmi. Sisi kama aspirants ya wasingishu, tumeairisha. Chama watuambie tutafanya tarehe gani. Na tunataka palu pas ile fresh. Ingi na pari na maki meenda mishkini, we don't want. Na waweke majina correct. Kwa zaafu nasikia kuna... Na mana na pizza zingine siyo sawa. Majina wengine hakuna. Kwa hivyo hiyo nijia pia ya kutefanya uchaguzi mzuri. Tunataka chama wa kutu. Kwa zaafu walikuwa na muda ya kutosha ya kupanda hiyo. Kwa hivyo nafikiri kutamalizia hapa, lakini kwa sababu mjumbe wa nandii nisama kuja. Kwa hivyo, kwa hivyo, kwa hivyo, kwa hivyo, kwa 
tuambie kule nani wamefanya utafiti ama wajafanya si ni kweli eh so that's what's happening in Eldoret. Like I mentioned, there's a lot that has been happening since uh, 6 a.m. this morning, and we're covering for you the Jubilee Party primaries in a way that only we can. So like I mentioned, we have Jeff Kirui in Kericho keeping an eye on what's happening there for us. We have Mashuri Makapombe in Nyeri, and we have Sophia Wanuna in Muranga. There you can see Sophia um, on your screen in a bit. Yeah, that's Sophia Wanuna. So you have Sophia Wanuna in Muranga. You have Jeff Kirui in Kericho. And of course, we have what's happening in Eldoret. Uh, Jackson Mandagor, the governor, uh, has just uh, addressed his supporters. He says, between Nairobi and Eldoret, somewhere in between, the ballot sort of disappeared. Yes no idea where they went. Okay, so this is News Center. Allow me to bring in Jeff Kirui from Kericho. Jeff, what's happening on your end? Well, a very good morning. And indeed, I'm uh, at the main distribution center of Belgood sub-county. And uh, earlier on, we actually held a hostage here. There were no movements allowed we inside or outside the uh, social uh, girls where the main distribution of the ballot uh, materials were meant to take place. And as you can see, uh, outside the gates, if you, if my cameraman can turn there, outside the gate, residents are just keep, uh, are keeping vigil just to make sure that no materials actually move out of the compounds of these, uh, the premise of this school. And they're saying that the ballot papers which were uh, issued to this particular sub-county are way much less than what was expected, saying that this exercise has to be postponed. And uh, of course, uh, earlier on, there was a joint uh, uh, a meeting by all the aspirants in these uh, uh, sub-counties, saying that the exercise has to be postponed. And of course, remember earlier on, uh, the Jubilee officials had said that they don't have any mandate to determine whether the exercise should be postponed or not. But they are insisting that it is the democratic right of the people, uh, that this exercise should be postponed if they feel like uh, the party is not ready to, uh, to conduct these uh, party primaries. Remember, this is a situation which has been replicated almost uh, in all the main tiling centers within Kericho County, the six sub-counties. Earlier on, I was getting information from uh, so in Sigawet, a particularly keep seated area where a residents were actually threatening to burn ballot uh, materials. Of course, we'll be heading there after here just to give you a picture, to paint a picture of what is happening. In Buret constituency, I'm being informed that nothing is actually happening there. And uh, as we speak now... Uh, the main tiling centre, Kericho T, is where some uh, action actually was uh, happening there. The distribution of materials was being uh, uh, materials were being distributed to the main uh, uh, sub counties. But from here in uh, Belgood sub county, I can confirm that no voting exercises are so far kicked off, and we are waiting for the communication from the Jubilee Party officials. Back to you. Jeff, thank you. Keeping an eye on what's happening for us in Kericho. Sophia Wanuna is in Muranga. Sophia, good morning. Good to see you. How is the process going on so far? Good morning, Linda. Good to see you as well. Well, can't quite see you, but to hear from you this morning. We are live indeed in Muranga. Okay. We seem to have lost Sophia. Let's try and see if we can reestablish that contact with Sophia and Una, who's keeping an eye on what's happening in Muranga for us. Like I mentioned, this is News Center. And News Center isn't News Center without Dansan Omari and Gabriel Muzuma, the two gentlemen who are in studio with me. Dansan, first of all, you abandoned us last what, he last did, Friday. He did. What happened to you? Oh, it was uh, Easter. And so? I had to stay with my two boys and my wife. Fantastic family. You, <laughs> I have never missed the functions like of we my family. Like, like we don't have families, right? right? No, no. We, we had uh, agreed with Muduma that then. he we, does we, that. We, On we, Christmas, we, I do we, that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, listen, uh, serious stuff, Jubilee primaries, what are your thoughts, Dunstan, from, you've been watching, you've been here, what are, what are your thoughts on how the process is playing out so far? Uh, uh, Linda, I went to school for Kiswahili, and I was taught one thing, that Hayawi, Hayawi, Hua, that what 
people will never expect to come, time will make it come. Mm -hmm. Jubilee has been bragging all over. Remember when we had a round table uh, at uh, Serena? Yeah, with, with the two guys? Yeah. Musang was very categorical that they are, they have the war chest, they have the logistical capacity, they've done the best no, to No, but even yesterday when the president was giving that press... Even was, yesterday, yeah, he said even today, the reality now is dawning. The reality is very simple that Jubilee is not any different from ODM. And my position has always been that Kenyans have now come to the realization that an IBC that is funded by the Constitution, the national IBC, gets logistical nightmare to conduct a national election. Mm. What of a small IEBC at Pangan in the IBC in the, in the Jubilee offices or at uh, Capitol, uh, the Orange House? Yeah. Those are small IEBCs run by political parties. These people were hired yesterday. They'll be paid for three days. How, what is the capacity of those people? So my direction, Linda, is very clear that uh, let Jubilee agree that their elections is a shambolic election. When you see a governor seated, a governor Mandago on the grass, <laughs> yeah. and you hear people saying that, look, they are preferred <coughs> candidates. Yeah, when I was here the other times, time, yeah. Linda, you remember I told you very well that the parties have their owners. There's nothing called party nominations. People who fund political parties, friends of the owners of the political parties, relatives of the owners of the political parties already have tickets. Okay. So what we are seeing today is showbiz. So let me ask you, you don't believe the president yesterday when he said there are no preferred candidates? That was not the president saying. That was the candidate for Jubilee. And that is ex expected of any candidate. When President Uhuru Kenyatta is campaigning, he's a politician. When he's addressing the nation on, on state issues, he's President Uhuru Kenyatta. Okay. You cannot take him to court over what he said yesterday. And that is what I've always told people, that in this era, we are going to have a parliament that is almost 70% independent candidates. Party wow. loyalists across board, both from NASA, both from Okay, and, and we're going to talk about, about that, that option that is now available for aspirants who may not really get this, um, the purpose they want uh, during this nomination. Muduma, what's happening to Jubilee? <laughs> well, you know, I also <laughs> was taught Kiswahili. <laughs> yeah, give it one. <laughs> Somebody said, uh -huh. Mambo mkaja huenda ya kaja. Ah, <laughs> Muduma, that is not <laughs> Yamekuja, yamekuja, yamefika. <laughs> Muduma, that is all, not Kiswahili. Let me give props, okay. me give props to Jubilee. Number one is okay. what they tried pulling off. Okay. And I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad the NAB chairman was actually, maybe somebody may have whispered to him, ben. don't try this. <laughs> Doing your election in one day. You know, they were actually, that's that. You know, they were almost running a mini poll. Uh -huh. That uh -huh. would have been a mini poll. Yeah. Now, I'll give props to Jubilee, not because, not because of anything. They had really, really tried. Okay. And they were saying our polls will be done in one day, but at least they uh, decimated that and they, you know, they divorced the date. Mm. Now we are, you know, it's, it's uh, yet to happen in about three or four days from mm. being able to read. But I'm, I'm, I'm actually waiting for your assessment of the process. Allow though. me to say something that Dunstan has just said. Okay. There are indeed party loyalists, you have people who support the party, and by virtue of that, not only even the party leader, Uhuru may mean well, trust me on this one, he may mean well, but you have people under him who may actually pull strings on behalf of party loyalists. What am I saying? You saw two weeks ago, I think two weeks ago or a week ago, Jubilee fired from their Pangani office mm -hmm. headquarters. They fired about 15 individuals who are found to be... Uh, writing or they were telling people we'll get you certificate. They, are, or they were actually selling cards. I can't remember what they were selling, but they were doing it behind okay. the back Listen. Of, 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 the, uh, of the party officials. Zuma, wait. We need to speak to Chris Thairu. Chris Thairu is in Kiambu, I believe. Thairu, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Good morning. What's happening where you are? 
Well, a very good morning to you, Linda. And of course, an interesting conversation you're having there in the studio. I'm coming to you live from St. Francis Catholic Church in Riru constituency, which is in Kiambu County. And the process of uh, voting here in Riru constituency is yet to kick off. I'm at the, uh, the St. Francis where are all the boxes, the tiling boxes and uh, the ballot uh, the ballot boxes and the registers. Uh, actually, the party registers have just arrived. This is where all the party, all the party officials are met for Riru constituency uh, just to pick uh, the ballot boxes and the ballot papers uh, so that the process can uh, kick off. Remember that it's around uh, heading to 10.30, 10.20 and uh, the process is yet to kick off. All these ballot boxes and ballot papers are expected to be distributed or dispatched to various uh, polling centers in rural constituency and of course anxiety is still building uh, outside there with uh, supporters of the Jubilee Party are uh, eagerly waiting from 5 a.m. Uh, to decide who will fly uh, that crucial ticket of the Jubilee and of course uh, this being um, Kembo County and being a stronghold for the Jubilee Party of course it is all uh, uh, systems go for uh, for anyone who will uh, who will have already been uh, uh, declared the winner and handed over that official certificate uh, to vie for any elective position come 8th of August. And uh, uh, what uh, we will be expecting maybe in the next uh, 30 or 40 minutes or so, then the process of dispatching the ballot boxes and uh, ballot papers will have already kicked off. We understand that the process delayed Zairu. because Zairu. Uh, the party had not... Zairu. Yes. Listen, I'm sorry to interject, but you're saying um, now the process of dispatching the ballot uh, boxes now is yet to commence? Correct. Uh, the, the process of dispatching the ballot boxes for rural constituency is yet to commence. And I've visited various uh, polling centers in rural constituency and, of course, uh, uh, eagerly voters there uh, un waiting anxiously to decide on who will carry the day. And, uh, of course, uh, there's that question. If at all this process was to start at 6 uh, a.m., uh, but now it's, uh, it's 10, uh, then uh, who will the party recover the lost time? And, of course, these are issues that uh, voters are still but they are yet to get a confirmation with the, with the party officials. But for now, uh, officials of the party still trying to uh, put the final touches uh, so that they can ensure that uh, the ballot boxes and the ballot papers are dispatched. Outside, there are a number of uh, vehicles which are going to be used uh, to uh, take those ballot boxes to uh, the other polling centers. And of course, uh, the farthest polling center in Riru, where I am, is in uh, Gedurai. So if at all uh, they dispatch now, uh, then give them a next maybe one hour so that they can settle and uh, the process can start. So in some of the areas, uh, the process might even start a uh, Day. And of course, uh, now the question that uh, the party is expected to uh, to answer is: Will the party really uh, compensate the lost time and ensure that everyone who woke up in the morning to cast the ballot uh, will be given that opportunity, Linda? Yeah, that is a question that is on the mind of must be on the minds of several people there. How exactly um, does the party intend to recover the hours? This was supposed to begin at what six? Seven, eight, nine, ten. So that are what four and a half hours. So Chris Iru, we'll cross over to you maybe what in about thirty minutes an hour just to find out how the process will be going on your end. But thank you. Good to speak to you this morning. Gentlemen, Muzuma. Four hours you've just counted. Yeah. And the four and a half. Process, process has not begun. Yeah. So give it another two hours. And then expect distribute. to distribute another one hour for people to start coming to in the telling, to, <laughs> to <come out. laughs> start coming in the telling center. You have three hours to vote before it closes at six. <laughs> Amen. I, I, you know, I, I, as much as we can mean well, but I was just giving you a scenario yeah. whereby, um, and, I, and, and I was telling you, you know, the president may mean well, mm. but as you have seen, it has not started the way they wanted it to. Yes. Now we can probably give them the props on that. But now when papers start disappearing, you don't know what, you know, I, 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 I would have hoped just hearing from what the NB chairman was saying, you know, he kept reassuring people that this will be, this will be, this will be. <laughs> guess what? It has come. And guess what? You've already failed in matters starting up. Okay. So but, moving but, forward, uh -huh. what happens? You've just heard what Mandagor has said, that they have agreed to halt the process, the exercise. You cannot do that. Okay. You know what, Linda? And by the way, mm. that anybody wanting to hold this exercise, yeah. 
must realize it's favoring the incumbent. You see, there's a problem with that because uh, there's a press that was released by Jubilee Party and uh, th this, it's, this is actually written in bold. No aspirants or returning officer has the authority to issue mm. any statement regarding the party's processes. Mandagor has just done that. Okay, clearly, Anything, probably he'll not be the only one. I mean, I'm just telling you. Did you not hear? Um, uh, did you hear that? Yeah, I'm just yeah, reporting yeah. We something that I showed. Uh, exactly. What is very clear yeah. is that they, there are people seated at the ivory towers at yeah. Pangani. The two Jews and um, Musangi and the others. They don't know what is on the ground. The ground, you've had Mandago. You've had in Kericho. Yes. We've had it, uh, it is now in Ruiru. We are hearing it in Bomet. We are hearing it in Nandi. We are re hearing it all over. Actually in Bomet. It is all over. All, of course, all the aspirants who are contesting, contesting, excluding those ones in our secret lists. <laughs> you didn't see the contestant called uh, Buzek in, uh, in Governor Mandago's uh, rally. Mm -hmm. in, in every place, People are saying that this is not accidental. Right. <clears throat> the missing, the stealing of, the purported stealing of uh, uh, election materials, the delay, and all the shenanigans that is being seen mm. is stage managed to favor those cliques of people I said who the party wants to get the tickets. It's not accidental. Remember, we are dealing with a party that is in government. Right. Still, the provincial administration is under them. State agencies are Never. answerable to them. Correct. Are you telling me that these materials are being transported without security? Mm. Apparatus being uh, on okay, the road. Okay, so Jubilee Party has actually called for a presser. Yes. Any moment from now, when yeah. that happens, we'll pick it up and just listen into what they have to say. But like I mentioned, we have a whole team on the ground. We're All still right. having this conversation. Uh, Mashirima Kapombe is in Nyeri. Let's uh, listen in to what's happening there. school where the governor Samuel Wamadai has just cast his vote in the ongoing exercise of the nominations of the Jubilee party and we are here with him uh, governor tell us what do you think of the process so far well so far I can see you can see there are so many people the turnout is uh, good the weather is good for voters to turn out and we expect a uh, very 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 good turnout mm -hmm. Of course, there has been challenges uh, this morning. The starting was extremely slow. Uh, these people were uh, almost uh, two hours late. But we do hope uh, we are going to catch up with, with the process. Uh, I have just voted. And uh, if these people you see here vote the way I have voted, then we are already in. Yes. So you have faith that you're going to clinch the Jubilee ticket? Exactly. We have worked hard. Uh, you can see the turnout is a witness that uh, we have worked hard. And we expect by the end of the day the, that the turnout is going to be good. Yes. Okay. How many voters are registered under this polling station? About 2,000. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And you're hopeful that it will be about 100% turnout? Uh, maybe 95%. Yes. This is my home base. Yeah, this is my this ward is my strongest point. And as under the circumstances, I'm sure I'll be able to sweep the the station. You can see the excitement of the people here because I know them uh, just by name, uh, most of them. So I believe uh, it will be a victory for these people themselves. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Moshimiro. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, yes. Yeah. That, where, that... where exactly do you come from? <laughs> We'll talk about it later. Let me just do this link. Uh, <laughs> That's uh, Governor Samuel Wamadai, who's just cast his vote and expressing uh, hope that he's going to clinch the Jubilee ticket and be able to run for governor. Remember, he took over uh, the governorship position uh, after the death of the late Nyeri Governor Nderitu Gashago, and he hopes that he'll be able to uh, continue the work that uh, he started uh, after the death of uh, Nderitu Gashago. So we'll keep updating you on what's going on. Uh, so far, uh, voting has started here, and, and it's ongoing at the Morogoro Primary School in Nyeri Town constituency. Uh, same complaints that have been reported uh, re in regards to uh, delay of materials getting to the polling stations, but uh, there's a relative. Uh, uh, it's relatively calm here.
there. Uh, the Wananchi are very patient uh, and they're waiting for their turn, but the queues are really long. Uh, there are about uh, over, slightly over 3,000 voters registered under this polling station, and it's expected that uh, the process will continue well. Uh, and we'll keep updating you on what uh, happens here in the county of Nyeri. Uh, back to you. Mashirima Kapombe in Nyeri, keeping an eye on the Jubilee uh, Party primaries for us, Mashirima. Thank you. Muzuma, well, finally I'm, a positive I'm, thing. I'm, I'm, I'm glad. I mean, and I hope, I hope, I hope. Nyerians, you know, uh -huh. they've kept the, keep the spirit, keep the spirit. I hope it goes like that. But yeah. let it not be lost mm. on what my good friend has said. Uh, Jubilee were quite ambitious in the process. And I think, Dunstan, at this point, that's why um, I, I can almost bet there's somebody regretting. I wish we did not join all these parties because right now, your people would be having their own issues. TNA at least will be solving our own issues. Mm -hmm. Everybody, at least in the coalition, everybody will be sorting their own problems. Now, big ambitions, made many problems. You have everybody now gearing up to only two people, and that's the DP and the president. They are being told, you heard what Mandago and Core said, mm. you now, we need you to intervene Otherwise, we are heading to NASA. Okay, that's, that's interesting because Muranga gubernatorial aspirant, that is Moses Mwangi and Isiolo Senator Mohamed Kuti, left the party saying uh, they fear that the process will be unfair. Not only them, Samuel already ditched. Samuel and he's a, he's a, he's a sitting senator, um, governor. And he's already ditched the party. No, he bolted. Uh, that's that. Are we likely to see more of this? No, no, no. It is very clear. I'm telling you the pattern is not unexpected. This is by design. It's not accidental. And any politician who listened to News Center, the three of us, we have always been telling them True. that don't bother going to political parties. The owners of political parties are there. You, if you want, register your own party. Chama Chama Shinani has registered his, it is not a principle. You, let me tell you, <laughs> if you do not have a it's political true. party, just start looking for a thousand people to register as an independent is candidate. Is time to still do that? No, no, no. no, no. After, yeah, they have... Uh, up to May, yeah. to resign from the parties that they May went 8th. there. Is it May 8th? Yeah, around May, May 8th. 8th. They must resign, then look for a thousand voters who are also non-party members. So those people you have there, they must resign from the party, then they endorse you for you to be declared a, a candidate. It was simply a ripoff. <laughs> parties were collecting money from so vulnerable, money. vulnerable, <laughs> vulnerable <laughs> aspirants. And now the aspirants are crying foul. Let me tell you, they are, if you look at the pattern, Linda, it is strategic, it is done with an issue. To you saying nobody can give a, a statement, nobody can stop an election. Already the aspirants, the all of Wasengishu, the all of Bomet, the all of Nandi, all over. And the question I'm raising, why is it that there seems to be a lot of problems in Rift Valley? Mm -hmm. Why do you think In so? Central, it looks that things are almost starting to have a semblance of happiness is coming. Right. Mutuma is excited. <laughs> but in Rift Valley, things are not working. And when, you, when I saw the clip <laughs> of Bumet... Yeah. Oh, yeah, and, and, and Duncan Haimba actually... Spoke Duncan to Haimba. Also when I saw yeah. the clip of Bumet, behind... Behind us, Duncan Haimba was talking, and the aspirants are saying they have agreed to stop uh, the nomination mm. until uh, Tuesday. Behind you could see the, this, the Mashinani symbol, mm. the kofias, the hands, <laughs> and dancing. Then you are asking, mm -hmm. what it's is happening. this? Then you've also seen in Eldoret people threatening that if the president and the deputy do not act, we are going to NASA. In regions of ODM, you heard people say, if Raila does not act, we are going to Jubilee. Correct. Okay. So are we seeing what Raila Odinga and Uhuru Kenyatta sat and agreed that no political party hoping should be there so that they collect all the money from the aspirants and the way they have done, now the guys have been told you can go to be independent candidates. <laughs> And the For the first time Uhuru Kenyatta and Willie and uh, Raila, Raila agreed, agreed on, on one that. thing. <laughs> And the question I ask is, what is the mischief behind these two agreeing? They never agree on anything. But for oh, but this on one, 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 they agreed. The they are the, here. The, the other thing, that, something I've just noted. <laughs> yeah. uh, you'll, you'll find the likes of Sudi. Uh, you'll find the likes of Mandagor mm. and this other... Keter. Uh, Keter. Now, these people have not sat pretty with DP yes. for some 
period. Yeah, of time. and actually, Madagascar is making some. Now, the, the issue that you can see boiling out is we know we are not in that preferred list. And actually, Mandagot has mentioned that. That's why, that's why I would agree with Dan and Probably somebody is pulling a Kali somewhere. Make sure these guys are not there. And honestly, that's why, that is, that's, why, that's why Governor Ruto could not have waited, you know, to be... He, he knew. Same thing you saw with Polo Tuoma. He looked at this mathematics. It doesn't add up. It doesn't add up. Call these people, reckon. And, and you know what? Sometimes, you know, we, we may say it, uh, funnily, but sometimes when an aspirant sit, sits down, you look at the way the way things are shaped. You look at the way you know uh, matters have been you know uh, strategized, the best option you have is to bold early enough. That's why I agree. People will threaten you like Dunstan is saying. They'll say, you know what? If you don't, we'll go to the other side. <laughs> Allow that to happen. Let Allow them that. go. They have their democratic right. Allow, give them a democratic space because even at where they are going, probably the reception will be worse. But that it's notwithstanding. Many people, people who see, you know, the other side of the corner will tell you, you know what, things are not planned properly here. May we bolt now. And that is what I believe Mandagora and company are seeing. Mm. They realize that this DP has a, he has a preferred list and we are not there. But Maybe, those are allegations. Maybe no, 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 no. it doesn't have justified that list. By are you expecting DP to now sit down with Ruto and uh, the likes of Akina Mandagor and the uh, likes of Akina Sudi? They've been castigating him ever since. Are you telling me that they are going right now DP would even prefer them. Yeah, it's like sleeping next to a rattlesnake. He does not want them near him. Wow. Truth be said. Let me say, let me, let me support him. I did tell people like Manda that anybody who is a governor is supposed to register his own party. <laughs> Surely, that's how many parties Let, let me have. tell you, let me tell what you. Is this is politics. <laughs> this is politics. Yeah. Munya. <laughs> Nobody can way. joke with Munya. True. Nobody can joke with Dr. Mutua in Machakos. In Machakos. Nobody can, uh, can joke with uh, Professor Kivuta Kibwana. By the way, in, in yeah. we have the own party. Nobody can joke with the Mashinani guy. All these guys saw, and they are experienced politicians. Right. They knew that the only time you will be recognized on the negotiation table mm -hmm. is when you have your own heart. Your heart is your party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a beginning chip for that's the moment that's what I'm saying. actually. So people like Mandago, their goose is already roasted. <laughs> people like Mandago, whether they make noise, the DP is looking for 2022. True. His eyes are on 2022. He must get people he'll work with. All right. He must get people who will finance his campaigns in 2022. So the DP is not only strategically looking for his allies, the whole country. It's not only in Rift Valley. It, his positioning is 2022. With the likes of Peter Kenneth being endorsed, is he likely to get the support of uh, the Mount Kenya region? Mm. If it is not there, has he planted people, the whole country, to campaign for him? If Uhuru Kenyatta wins, the second term, Huru Kenyatta will be a lame duck president. Mm. He has nothing to do. He'll be like an Obama guy Correct. who is saying, me, I want my pension, <laughs> I want my legacy, I don't want to hurt anybody. They leave, me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Leave me alone, I'm tired. So the question that is in Rift Valley yeah. now is succession politics. True. And that is why Isaac Ruto, Gideon Moy, are already also positioning themselves to, to take that position of 2022. So the, the battle is so hard. Is Mandago and the likes of Mandago being seen to be friendly to Moy? Remember when uh, Bonadawa died? Mm. And all the luminaries of the Kalenji nation were the, the, the funeral. Mm. It was such a serious issue. True. The DP faced a serious resistance and the DP must stamp his authority once and for all. Remember, okay. these guys <laughs> who are making noise there, I really sympathize for Okay, <laughs> we need to cross over to Chris Tairu again in uh, Kiambu. Chris, what do we have right now? Well, Linda, I've just pounced on one of the aspirants that is a nominated member of parliament, Isaac Mwaura, who is trying to get the ticket for Riru constituency. Of course, a big number of aspirants that he will be facing. But first of all, he'll first be tell, start by telling us the fears and maybe why the papers or the ballot boxes are yet to be dispatched to various polling centers. What has been the, the reason? 
Chris Taito, I think uh, it's good first to correct you that we are only three people who are running for the Jubilee Party ticket mm -hmm. because the moment I declared that I was running, uh, people shied away from, from getting into this race because they knew that definitely Isaac Mora is a strong candidate. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why you used to see even those people who are trying to, to hit me and, 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 and to, uh, you know, uh, that assassination attempt. Uh, but then uh, there has been some delay because of the lack of a voter register. And we anticipate by the around 11 that everything shall be okay. And we are trying to tell uh, our supporters, wherever you are, whether you're in your house, whether you are waiting to get out, please be ready. We are going to vote today. I'm sure we'll recover for time. Let us come out in large numbers and vote uh, for the person that you want. And I know that there are so many of us who are supporting me. Come, do not panic. Do not uh, grow weary. These are hitches that, of course, are, are normal. And I would want to ask that uh, you really uh, uh, come out in large numbers to vote for me. But someone might ask, uh, of course, Jubilee Party has been planning for these nominations today on the 21st. Then have you gotten any uh, response from the party? Why the delay of uh, availing the party registers? Sometimes even when you plan at your best, something, something may, may not work as you would want. And so therefore we are giving the party the benefit of the doubt. I'm sure there are good intentions. And that is why right now I am, I have, I've just got in communication that by around 11 we will be ready to go. So I think uh, uh, let's wait for that opportunity because we do not want to have different uh, types of voter registers. And so therefore, let the right one come and then people can start voting. But of course, most of the voters who are here, most of the polling centers by five in the morning. Uh, maybe have you talked about uh, how that time will be recovered because uh, we expect that most of the polling centers will be closing by 5 p.m. I think we, there will be some extension, and, and, and we want to have that official communication from the party. But I would want to ask somebody, if you came here at four or five to vote, Kindly just wait for some few hours to exercise your mandate. Because if you, if you leave, then you will have left those people who you do not want to get that opportunity to do so. Mm -hmm. So I would really want to plead that let's be patient. Sometimes things don't happen the way we would want. And eventually, we will have a free and fair and credible process. Mm -hmm. yes. My last question will be, we know uh, in uh, Ruiru, and of course uh, by extension, Kiambu County, it's a do or die for whoever will uh, get that position. In terms of security, and uh, looking at uh, what you underwent some uh, few days ago, maybe have you been assured of security? Yeah, first and foremost is to say that uh, my security has been beefed up. I have been added more policemen. And uh, also, if you look at the way the security operations are, is that you, you have the, the, general, the general, uh, general service police, you have the, the, the administrative police, you have also the prisons police, and you have the GSU on standby. Uh, so it is very well taken care of in case of any form of riot. And I believe that uh, with that kind of uh, you know, counter-checking, counter there will be no form of malpractice. Okay. Yes. We wish you all the best even as we wait for the process to begin. Thank you very much. Okay. And I want to, again, once again, to tell the people of rural constituents to come out to large numbers, to vote for change and to vote for not, none other than Isaac, Maigwa, Maora, Kijana, Mtetezi, Modongo, Aruru, MP 2017. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot. Of course, Linda, uh, that is Isaac Maora, but you'll still be facing the incumbent that is Esther Gadogo and uh, Simon Kingara, who have already been the indicated that they are ready uh, to grab that ticket and uh, contest for the Riru parliamentary seat, Linda. <laughs> Chris Aido from Kiambu, good to speak to you. Dansan and, and, and Gabriel Muduma are just laughing their heads off. What is it, guys? <laughs> I have a serious bandage. <laughs> the whole head is a bandage, by the way. And have you, have you realized, what? I don't understand whether you've realized this, what? Towards, towards conducting <laughs> primaries, I... people lose their ability to target, to shoot, or to <laughs> no, throw a hammer. I mean, if somebody really wanted to make him over on top of his head, are you telling me who they, they could have missed? That's the, other guy, the other guy was found in Narok, his car sprayed in bullets. How come they missed him? I mean, that's a, come on, man. That's Let's fair. get serious. <laughs> My good Mashimura is a good friend of mine. Yeah. The problem is that the, the shot must have been a very serious... <laughs> you guys are on your own, by the way. I'm telling you, you to be able to get only the <laughs> ear. <laughs> only... <laughs> That's why I'm laughing, man. Ah, you guys are on your own. <laughs> okay, okay, listen, listen. Pole, pole, Moishimua. But it's good that your security has been beefed up. Yeah, let us also say pole for Moishimua and wish him that the bandage, whether it's a bandage or it is a scarf, <laughs> the doctors are, have, have left to strike. <laughs> they can tell us the truth. <laughs> Later, okay, let, us, let me bring out a very okay, fundamental yeah. issue yeah. about these uh, jubilee elections. The question that uh, Kenyans are asking themselves is uh, one issue. You've heard Isaac Moura say they are three contestants. Yes. And the president has assured that anybody who loses will be given a job. 
that is a political talk. Why is it that in Mount Kenya region, the number of Jubilee candidates is between two, three, maximum four? When in Rift Valley, there are 17, there are 20. Right. For what, are one you, position. what are you reading into this? Where I'm leading into is that the people in Central, almost everybody has an alternative exit strategy. Correct. That in case today things go wrong, mm. they're either going to other parties, right. or if the parties don't agree, they are already in parties. When you look at the governor's position in the whole of uh, Mount Kenya region, there are two or three candidates. Right. When you go to Rift Valley, there are 20, 30 <coughs> contesting. Did the people in the north, uh, did the people in Rift Valley not l read the mood mm. and see it coming? And people in Mount Kenya region saw it and deflected to other parties. That is likely to unfold within a very short time. We have not seen the serious threats that are coming from the Rift Valley that they have other alternatives. In Central, Maura is telling you. The only three. We understand. Okay, listen. Um, you're watching News Center. Thank you for staying with us. We need to.